Hi girls, welcome back to my YouTube. If you are new here, hello, my name is Beth. I am a mum of three, stepmom of one, owner of online store fearless.co.uk. I am an influencer and this is my YouTube video. I am now a YouTuber. <laughs> I am very much getting back into this. I'm really enjoying doing all these videos for you girls and like the feedback's been amazing. So I'm glad you're all enjoying them. So today's video is gonna be a really quick how I do my hair when I'm going for like this wa wavy, messy, like chucked together look. Um, the products I use, how I style it and just kind of telling you a little bit about my weave that I have because I have a uh, a weave by Effin Hair. She's been doing my hair for years. So yeah, a little bit about how easy it is to style, how quick and easy this kind of chuck together look is and how I get this kind of bouncy, messy, volumized kind of look. So let's get straight into the video. So yeah, the very first thing I do obviously is just brush my hair through with the tangle teaser. So having a weave doesn't really get that tangled. If you have good hair, like good quality hair. So Effin is fab. I've literally had so many um, hair extensions. I've had weaves before and like literally for years, like probably since I was like 18. Um, and as soon as I got my hair done with Effin, I was literally like, right, I'm literally not gonna go anywhere else now. Like I wouldn't have any other hair because it's such good quality and it lasts so, so, <sighs> see my hair, in my mouth, so, so long. Yeah, so my hair's kind of like half dried where I've been getting ready. Um, so yeah, I'll show you the products that I use. So one product that I use every single day without fail, and on the kids' hair as well, like on my little girl's hair when it gets knotty, is the Effin Hair Leave-In Conditioner. So if you have hair extensions or a weave, and you don't wash your hair every, like every day, obviously, like with my weave, I find it so easy because I only have to wash it once a week, like my actual weave. So I'll, I'll section my hair and just wash, like do a top wash every few days, and then once a week, I will wash my full head, but this, that's my empty one, <laughs> see that's how much I use it, um, just keeps your hair smelling really fresh and also like with extensions they can go a bit kind of like frazzled after a few days of not washing, whereas this keeps them really like shiny and hydrated and yeah it's definitely one of my favourite um, products that I use on my hair. So then once after I've washed it, um, so these are the shampoo and conditioners that I use. Again, as soon as I tried these, I was just like, these are the only ones I'm ever gonna use. Like I've used all kinds of like special shampoos, conditioners for like extensions and things before. Nothing has left, left nothing has been, <laughs> nothing that I've used has left my hair as silky and smooth and like as natural looking as like when I use these products. So Steph has done so amazing, like literally, I love them. And I use this on my normal hair as well as my, obviously my weave and I literally wouldn't use anything else. They make your hair so silky, smooth and smell so nice. And yeah, you literally need the tiniest bit. So even though they're only small bottles, you need the smallest bit of it and it just is fab. Big, big fave. So yeah, once I've washed my hair, I've washed everything today kind of like dried on its own a little bit um, where I've just been running around after the kids and then I use this product every day as well which is the Effin Hair um, Miracle Oil. Again just an amazing oil so I squeeze a couple of pumps on my hands and this is either if I've washed my hair I'll whack loads on just to get it nice and shiny and silky and lovely and smooth once I'm styling it. And I also use it um, on days when I'm not washing my hair or when I've not washed my weave, kind of just through the ends here, just to keep it really nice and glossy so it doesn't dry out. So yeah, that's pretty much the products that I use on my hair day to day and when I'm styling it. And then this I use every now and again. If my, my weave that I, like this one, I've had in since, God, when have I had this in since? summer anyway, August maybe, last year. 
Um, obviously I've had it cut recently when my hair's gone from like there to here, but um, with the hair that Steph uses, I think like some have had last me nine months. I know some people have had them last like a year. So if you look after it, um, the hair is such good quality that it is such a good investment and will last so, so long. So this is another product that I use just when I need to give it a little bit of a boost. So it's, I don't know what it's called, extension boost. It's like a leave-in conditioner. So you leave it in, I'll leave it in like overnight. Um, and it just like, then when you wash your hair, it's, you feel like you've got brand new hair extensions again. It makes them so soft and so, so smooth. So I'll put links to Steph's website um, under the, underneath and also um, effing hair on Instagram because they, she's amazing. I've just been doing my hair now for, God, I don't even know how long it is, maybe four years. So she doesn't do my colour, but she does do my um, hair extension and weaves. And it's gone from like mega long to kind of here, to long again, to short and black. And then I went lighter and we put like mixed loads of different colour extensions in um, to kind of get like a balayage kind of effect. Then I went dark and long again, and now I've gone darker and shorter again. And I just love it because I can cut my hair like this and think it literally doesn't matter if I get bored of it again because I can just get another weave and it looks so good. Like even when my hair was like short up here and um, like when I had it really, really short and really, really dark, like a real blunt cut like this, um, then when I went long again, like Steph's so good at just getting it all to kind of blend and just, yeah, she's fab. I literally wouldn't have anybody else do my hair extensions ever. <laughs> so sorry Steph, you stuck with me. So yeah, so it's pretty much like really dry on the tops, but it's just underneath. So since I've like had it shorter, obviously it's so much easier to um, dry and style and I absolutely love it. So yeah. I'm just going to blast it dry. I literally look like I have been electrocuted. So, once I've kind of absolutely blasted it dry, I just give it another brush through. And then I'm going to show you what I've been using on my hair recently. So, I was... Mark Hill were lovely and so sweet and sent me, gifted me tons and tons of products. So these were gifted to me a few weeks ago and I've been trying them out and this as well. So before I always used to use my straighteners to do curls, but when your hair's shorter especially, um, and also because I can't do them as good as Steph does them when she does my hair, um, I got sent this and I was so actually really, really um, happy to get this because my, one of my friends has it and I know it's really, really good. So this has got the biggest barrel on, but they also sent me like a medium one and a smaller one, but I like really big curls. So I've only been using that one. I will try this one again at another point. And then yeah, I've been trying out their products. This is the heat, Nourishing Heat Protection Spray. Um, so I've been using this one because the one I was using, I have run out of. Um, so I always, oh Mary, sorry, did I spray that right on you? I always use this just before curling. So yeah, what I usually do, I like it like really messy and not too perfect. So I don't get too hung up on it being really perfect looking. So what I usually do is I separate my, my hair from my weave so my weave literally runs along there so i separate that off just with a bubble or a clip or whatever so that's my top section and then i concentrate on these two bottom sections first so yeah so like i say i just do it i like it really messy so I don't get too crazy about it being um, in set sections. So I literally, oh God, just twist it round. 
find it hard using the glove so I don't really use it with a glove because I find it slips out of my fingers too much but you can use the glove if you want to be more careful so you don't burn your fingers on the wand but I find if you're just careful you're fine so yeah literally hold that on let it go and then twist it back round this hairspray is just just a super drug one I think I literally just use whatever hairspray and then tape it so with my weave it is just real hair so you can use whatever heat or products or straighteners or whatever on it and it doesn't affect it so good so yeah just wrap it around my fingers again it's a bit hot but you have to suffer to be beautiful <laughs> no he's not happy i'm spraying all these things around her and then i just kind of let that go there's a straight bit in there there we go and yeah i will literally just go all around the bottom section I love how my hair short, so it's so much quicker than when it's super long. It just takes ages to style and dry. But then I do love it. And also like having a weave, I find because you only wash it. <laughs> do you, anyone else find their arms get really achy? Um, because I only wash my weave once a week, even though it's an absolute ball ache to wash because you're only doing it once a week and drying it once a week then it's, it kind of evens out and then when you come to style it every day it's really easy as well so so yeah I've been loving this wand because it just gives those really what is that bit there get that after it gives a really nice wave can you see there it's like bouncy and big and not too ringlety because it's like got the domed or whatever it is shape it doesn't do like a perfect wave it does like a like different kind of um what do you call it like a different diameter to the different parts so it gives like more of a natural looking wave rather than a perfect ringlet which i love A straight bit in there somewhere that I've not done. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> yeah, and for this look, it is literally just so super messy. Doesn't need to be perfect. You can literally just grab bits. It doesn't matter if it's not sectioned off perfectly or different like they're different kind of thicknesses to each kind of bit of hair that you do it literally doesn't matter and you can do this on short or longer hair and it looks fab on long too so that's the first the bottom half can you see there the waves they just look really like bouncy and big which i love so then i'm going on the second section Just randomly section the hair off. I'm not going to burn my finger, can you see the look? And then wrap it round and spray. <sighs> Literally burn my finger. <gasps> oh, I've lost it. You can hear the boys that you're upstairs playing computer games. <laughs> so nice to actually do my hair. 
because for the past week we've had so much snow and I've literally been living in hats so I've not even bothered doing my hair <laughs> but we still have snow well I literally have to go to London this evening for a flying visit for something for work so I actually need to have to like put some makeup on and do my hair because we've had so much snow I've literally just been at home all week I'm working from home um but yeah I've not done my hair or makeup all week so you can see like I'm so run like it's so random and so messy the sections that I'm picking out because then I feel like if you do like some big some small it just looks way more natural yeah maybe so that's the bottom half nearly done last one there and then it's just the top section but yeah this is my weave my natural hair is roughly the same length but it grown loads I love it like when I get a fresh weave or I have it tightened and Steph takes it out you can see how much my actual normal hair has grown and I think it's really good for you actually you know sometimes hair extensions can damage your hair like a weave has never damaged my hair it's always grown better because I feel like because it's kind of plaited up and out the way it's not getting any heat on it it's not getting damaged it's not getting broken off it's just like a plait and then when you take the plait out it's like whoa like it's grown so so much the bit that's been plaited away so yeah I never like anybody who was saying to get a weave like especially like from Steph obviously I don't know I can't speak for everybody but from effing hair like it's it's been so good for my hair I've never had any problems with it damaging my hair it's been so so good So that is the bottom part done so I'm gonna do the back first I'm just gonna section the front and the back half really messy pop that back out of the way and do this top bit so last year when I got my hair and I went lighter decided I wanted to go like a balayage kind of look started going lighter it damaged my hair and loads of these top bits are shorter and they're only just kind of recovering now um, so that was sad I just feel like I don't want to ever try and go lighter or put bleach on my hair anymore because I'd never gone light before and then I had I went somebody somewhere for my hair done not Steph not Chris who does my hair now somewhere else and they put that much bleach on it and it went a funny colour and then they tried to like rectify it and put more bleach on and then it just kind of broke off and I was absolutely gutted so all like round the top of my crown round the front of my face where we tried to go like loads lighter it was so short and damaged and broken whoa that's a good one so yeah that was sad but Good thing about having my weave is like you literally wouldn't know you can't really see because it kind of hides it so there's that bit gone but, but it's a bit tough so yeah i try and get these bits really big and bouncy so it kind of the top looks really volumized because these are the kind of smaller sections on top they usually do quite well so one spray <sighs> my arm's getting tired now <laughs> that's why i'm leaning like this <laughs> so i can lean my arm on my leg ow just burnt my head And then we're going to do this last front section. So take that down. I feel like this is the most important part. So I don't want that in it. That's the back bit. So I'm going to do this into like a back bit and then a front bit. So these are the short bits that got damaged, which is annoying. 
try and like really hide them and this bit I'll curl inwards towards my face so I can kind of hide it in that, back, that further back section. Ta-da! Looks a bit weird at the minute, <laughs> but wait till I brush it out. Big spray. And then the last two pieces. They're done. Was a bit crazy. Give it another quick blast of spray all over, and then kind of give it. A <laughs> Look at the state. What is this? So then need to kind of tame. Oh, brush it all through, and then you can see. Then rather than it being like sectioned off, it all starts kind of coming together. And then this, these are the bits I'm talking about when they go a bit crazy, like here and here, like molding those in. So you can see it just has a really nice, like bouncy, messy wave. Let me get the straighteners. Okay, so the straighteners that I use are these ones. I used to use GHDs, and then Steph from F and Hair told me about these ones. Apparently, they're like made in the same factory or something as GHDs, and they are literally just as good, if not better, and they're like so much cheaper I'll link them in the comments for you I can't remember how much they were I think they were roughly like 30 pounds or 40 or something like that so yeah they're called she and they are so good like I've had these god three years four years maybe and then I'm just going to tame the kind of front bits and any crazy bits that just need bringing in a little bit so you know, like the crazy bits that just stick out or like this where it's a bit funny. So today I'm just going to kind of like wear it like this, you know, like just over. So these bits here just need kind of bringing down a bit. Otherwise it just looks a bit weird. <laughs> so it kind of just sits nicely on the top rather than sticking out. And then like here, can you see that bit? Oh no, it's all good. So yeah. And then, so you can wear it like this, like really messy. Or I also sometimes like to just do it straight down the middle. I haven't got my comb with me. Straight down the middle like this. And then like grips, I really like grips at the moment. So like a grip there, looks really cute. I haven't got any here. Um, or even both of them grips or, yeah. But yeah, today I'm gonna just whack it over the top. So, and then we'll just go in and back comb a little bit. Yeah. And then smooth it over. There we go. And then yeah, just go in with my straighteners and just neaten out those bits that are going to look a bit weird when I've just chucked my hair the other way, if you know what I mean. I don't know with the pillow. So yeah, and then one more blast of hairspray. hold it in place and we're done so that is my messy curly bob hair <laughs> so there you go it's like really bouncy messy doesn't look too done just like a really casual kind of chucked together wavy look but I love what I love about this is it gives you these big 
this big volume maybe here and they don't drop either which is another good thing about a weave like once you style it it doesn't drop out it doesn't like the curls don't drop they stay really bouncy so it is all good so i hope you enjoyed this little video um i hope you enjoyed this little hairstyle it's just my one of my go-to's at the minute whether my hair is long or curly like that big wavy messy look i absolutely love so yeah thank you for watching um i will link all the products that i have used in this video um below in the comment section and if there's any information that you want just leave me a comment if you don't already subscribe then hit the subscribe button and the notification button so you don't miss my videos that are coming up there will be at least two a week every week now and yeah i will see you in my next video girls